A video that's gone viral on TikTok with over 4 million views has recently come to my attention as it's warning people over the dangers of consuming spinach due to its high oxalate content, known to cause, quote, kidney stones, joint pain and gut issues. I always want to make sure I'm willing to change my mind and therefore my recommendations if new information comes to light. So let's watch this clip and then we'll come back and look at some studies. Fake health foods, spinach, not healthy for you, full of oxalates. Oxalates are well known to cause kidney stones, joint pain, gut issues. Spinach is so high in oxalates, guys. Do not eat spinach salads. Get this out of your diet. Not a health food, bad for you. In a previous video, Dr. Michael Greger of NutritionFacts.org did conclude, based on the research he had seen, that we shouldn't overdo spinach due to the kidney stone risk. And what he meant by that was the two to three cups of greens he recommends a day should not all be spinach, but we should emphasise more of the low oxalate greens like kale, collards, arugula, etc. Which sort of led me to err on the side of caution and decrease my intake of spinach. But I want to also balance this with some really interesting research that I've recently been made aware of. This this review of a few cohorts that included hundreds of thousands of people found that the dietary oxalate intakes were similar in those who formed stones and those who did not form stones, which led the researchers to conclude that dietary oxalate is not a major risk factor for kidney stones. This backs up the thought that actually our bodies produce a lot of the oxalate that form kidney stones. And some scientists think that it's likely we don't absorb all that much from food. But here's what's even more fascinating. This meta-analysis of 50 studies, which included over 1 million people, found that the strongest risk factors for stones wasn't spinach consumption, but high BMI, dietary sodium and animal protein. So I think there's a balance to be found here and just to make sure you diversify your greens in any given week. But there's no need to cut spinach out of your diet. Because of all of this, I'm going to add back in a bit more spinach to my own diet. Next, we'll discuss what to do about the cancer-causing chemicals that have been found in kale.